Okay, what's up guys? Gonna learn something new. It's not particularly difficult. You'll need this sheet for later, okay? For now, uh, this whole chapter is about measuring with accuracy, okay? For each measurement, you need to find A, the degree of precision and the range, okay? This is how you find the degree of precision. How many Denver's after the decimal you got? You have one. So you make your decimal point. Wherever the last digit's at, okay, you make that a one, and everything before it becomes zeros, okay? Now, here's how you find the range. You make a thing, and up here you put plus, minus, okay? And what you're going to plus, minus is not the 0 0.1, okay? You need to take your 0 0.1 divided by 2. You're always going to divide your degree of precision by 2. Zero point zero 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 point zero five. Okay, so to find your minimum, you minus it. 3.6 minus 0 0.05. Or you, so that's your minimum. And then just hit up on your calculator and just hit plus, okay, 3.65. That is how you find that, because everything there would be rounded to 3.6. All right, next one, A, B. Let's put your decimal point, the last digit you replace with 1, okay. Anything before it becomes a 0, that's what a degree of precision is. And to find your range, you put plus, minus, not that number. You need to take the 0 0.1 divided by 2. Okay, then your range. 4.3 plus 0 0.05. So that's your high, the, when you plus it, that's your maximum. Doesn't matter if you plot, just make sure the mat, the higher the plus goes here, the minus goes here, then click up. 4.25. Okay, now you got three decimal places. So the last place is filled with a one, everything else zeros. So just put a zero in front of it. Okay. Then plus minus, you take your 0 0.001 divided by 2, okay? And that just tells you the number you're going to plus minus. Okay, 0 0.0005. Okay, so my range, range just takes the minimum and the maximum, so you're going to minus first. Just minus first makes it easier that way. Okay, 15.8845. That's the minimum of the measurement. And hit up. That's your maximum. Okay. 15.8855. That's pretty much all you do here. These are both answers. I need to see them both. Okay, so do they. Okay, the precision degree, and there's three decimal places. So you're going to have a one in the third place, everything before it, including before the decimal becomes zeros. Okay. Now you're going to add and subtract to that amount to find your range. 0 0.001 divided by 2. It's going to be the same thing I had on the last one. 0 0.0005. Okay. 12.002 minus 0 0.0005. And just write down what you have. You get a lot of decimals on some of these. Click up. And now you're at 12.0025. Basically gives you all possible ways you can round to that, okay, essentially. Okay, zero. Okay, so one go even though if it's a one there, you still put a one, everything before it goes to zeros. Okay. 
So you take your 0 0.01 divided by 2 and you add or subtract that amount. 5 thousandths which is 0 0.005 so if I take my 7.01 and I minus 0 0.005, 7.005, then I keep that, click up, and now I add it, 7.015. A and B. 9.1 is what that is. So you got the last digit is just a one, okay? And everything before it becomes zeros. Okay, that's your precision degree. And then to find your range, this is used to find the range, but I need to see both of them. So 0 0.1 divided by two is 0 0.05. Then you minus. you're going to get 9.15. Okay, that's part one. Part two is pretty easy, okay? But it's something new. Determine the number of significant digits for the following measurements. Now, you have to know how to do that for significant digits. This is used in a lot of upper-level subjects, science, so forth, okay? There's five rules, okay? Okay. So we're going to take a problem, we're going to go down the list of rules. All non-zero digits are significant, so take all your non-zero digits and just check mark them. So there's four already. All zeros between significant digit. Now, non-zeros are pretty obvious, but with the actual digits that are zeros, there's a lot of things we have to be aware of. All zeros between significant digits are significant. So, well, that zero is between two of the non-zeros, so, okay, so there you go. So there's five, all five of them are significant. I messed this up, actually. Cross, this is confusing, it's number two is, all zeros between non-zero digits, cross that out and put, all zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Okay, I just don't like the sound of that. Okay, 126.10. All, all non-zero digits are significant. So check, 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 check. All zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Well, that's not between any of them, so it's not between, so we can't, we have to keep reading. Zeros at the beginning are not significant. Well, that's not at the beginning, so we can't just mark that off. Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant. Well, that's at the end. It's after the decimal mark it. So five of them are significant. Okay, 9,709.3. All non-zero digits are significant, okay? So check, 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 check. All zeros between non-zero digits are significant. So that's between, okay? That's significant. So all five of them. Okay, next one. All non-zero digits are significant. One, two, three. All zeros between non-zero digits. We have any zeros between? Yep, right there. So I'm at four. Zeros at the beginning are not significant. Well, that's not at the beginning, okay? Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant. So it's after the decimal, it's at the end, significant. So five, no, the answer is not always five, okay? First off, get this dumb repeating bar out of there. Get it out. Repeating bar over zero. I don't know where that's coming from, okay? Okay, so all non-zero digits are significant. One, a two, a three. All zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Well, these are not between, so I can't, that, that does not apply. Zeros at the beginning are not significant. They're not at the beginning, okay? 
Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant. Well, the decimal would be here, okay? So those are not after the decimal. Now, finally, I get a look at step five. Zeros at the end before the decimal are only significant if there are digits after the decimal. So these are definitely before the decimal. They're only significant. Zeros at the end before the decimal. So that's what we read here. They're only significant if there are digits after the decimal. Well, there's no digits after the decimal, so put X's on them. X means they're not significant. So that only has three significant digits. Okay. Next one, non-zero digits are significant. Check them. Do you have any zeros between the, what you check? No. Zeros at the beginning are not significant. Ooh, those are at the beginning. X them all off. Okay. Zeros at the end after the death. They're not at the end. They're at the, if they're at the beginning, we automatically. So that only has two. Okay. When it, why this is used, we're going to look at tomorrow. Okay. Okay, next one. Four, check those. What about that zero? Is it between? No, so step two doesn't help. Is it at the beginning? No, that doesn't help. At the end, after the decimal? Yep, so it's significant. So that's five. Next one, you know you got these. Do you have anything between them? Nope. Zeros at the beginning are not significant, so X those off. Zeros at X means it's not. Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant, so check it. That leaves us with three. Okay. I don't know why they get that dumber. That makes no sense. Get that freaking thing out of there. Oops, sorry. All zero digits are significant. One, two, three. This is a between one, so it's significant. Zeros at the beginning are not significant. That is not at the beginning, so we can't label that yet. Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant. Well, the decimal's here. That's not, yeah, that's not after the decimal. So let's look at five. Zeros at the end before the decimal, which is that one, are only significant if there are digits after the decimal. Well, are there digits after the decimal? No, so that deserves an X. That's four significant digits. Okay, one, two, that's a between. Betweens are easy to see, but it's those ones at the end. Zeros at the beginning, well, that isn't at the beginning. That doesn't tell me anything. Zeros at the end after the decimal are significant. Well, it's at the end. It's after the decimal, so check it. So it's four. All right, that's enough of me.